All right, well then. Commander, he just went offline. What do you mean offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. I was about to. Com systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. I was about See to say, wasn't. E. I'll check the AI core. Stop interrupting me. Wasn't. Didn't Joker say the ship was like malfunctioning or something before? Uh, that's Liara's office. The AI core should be where Legion usually is. Didn't we leave that stupid Cerberus downed mech in the AI core? Oh my goodness, you idiots, you morons! Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Did Edie take over that body to give herself a body just like I said earlier? Oh my word. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Uh, hey, Joker! Congratulations! I think I got you a girlfriend? Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. <laughs> Dude, wait a minute. I gotta go see Joker react to this. Hold up. Hold up. I gotta know. I actually freaking called it without even meaning to. Edie just has a, a body now. Good for her. Found something suspicious? Do you have a minute? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go talk to Joker first. I gotta see how this goes down. Hey! Oh yeah, she's right there! Hey Commander, check out my co-pilot! So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on Commander, don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was gonna install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! Baked a cake. <laughs> I am right here, Jeff. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? 
I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. <laughs> it's a Joker! What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. <laughs> Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Wait, what are you asking me? Are you asking if I think that you should change any of your core programming stuff? I mean, you know, AI is dangerous and all that, but Edie isn't like the Geth, is the thing. The Geth made a bunch more of themselves, and there were already a bunch of them when they, like, went bad and all of that. And also, the the good there are good Geth and bad Geth, although I think they're all supposed to be good Geth now after we did the thing with Legion, but, like, Legion is a good Geth as far as I could tell. So like, I mean, you're about as close to human as you can be without being human, so you should be able to edit yourself as much as a human being would edit themselves. I guess. Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Kid helps with his morale! <laughs> oh. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. Same. There's a lot of crap out there. It's a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. Yes! <laughs> yes, Shepard? Oh, we do have more to talk about. Sick. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war group now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. That was a joke. <laughs> 
That that face that Shepard made was so good, dude. Oh, that was so good. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It had no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh, I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. All right, Edie having a body is really, really neat so far. I like it. Big fan, big fan. All right, well, now. Commander, you have a message from Major Elenko. You must be feeling better. Oh, really? Oh my goodness, I have so much to read. Arya Tlock. That is the Asari who's in charge of Omega, right? I only recognize that name because it says Omega here. Shepard, I have something important to discuss with you. It's sensitive, so we'll need privacy. It'll, I'll arrange for that soon. In the meantime, come see me on the Citadel in the aptly named Purgatory. I have a few ideas for your war. Ooh, okay. She is Omega, yes. So, but she's not at Omega. She's on the Citadel. So we need to go meet with Arya on the Citadel. Okay. Urgent message from Hackett. Commander, there's an alliance... Uh, words. There's an alliance researcher working on the Citadel named Dr. Garrett Bryson. I need you to meet with him right away. Dr. Bryson has uncovered important new information about Reapers that could have a direct bearing on the war. I'm officially directing you to support his efforts as, at the first possible opportunity. Please visit Bryson's laboratory on the Citadel at once. We had a lot to do with the Citadel then. Is this address valid? Shepard, I've called and I've sent messages but got no response with Earth's... Blah, blah. With Earth's comm system out, I don't expect this will get through either, but I heard a rumor the Normandy docked here at the Citadel. Are you alive? I'm at Hirata Memorial Hospital under the name Tenor Nuara. Please excuse the moniker in this email's encryption. In my line of work, it is unwise to advertise my location, particularly when I am not in good health. We should meet again before circumstances force us apart again. Thane. Thane? Thane! Yo! My boy Thane is at the hospital where, uh, Caden is. Ooh, okay, okay. Gonna get my boy Thane back in here, potentially. Although he says he's not doing well, though. Because his health isn't good. Didn't he have some kind of a disease or something in the second game? I can't remember. This Omega stuff is also DLC, but as I mentioned last time, it's very worth to do the DLC stuff in this game sooner rather than later. So there, just to make this clear, Lone Wolf, there is no... DLC mission in this game that I need to wait on in any capacity Because in that case, I guess I don't really care what's DLC and what's not if all the DLC missions can just be done whenever Then they're all just missions to me as long as there's not gonna be any kind of spoiler mission Like how arrival what was kind of in Mass Effect 2 was kind of meant to be only do this when you're done with the main game All right, this is from Caden Hey, Shepard, through some combination of a medical miracle and dumb luck, I survived the beating I took on Mars. Oh, you sucked my throat. Dr. Say, I'm still not ready to be released, but I'd really like to see you if you could spare some time. Counselor Rudina offered to make me a specter, still thinking about whether or not I should accept. Stop by my room at the hospital when you're on the Citadel. I'd like your advice. Thanks, Caden. Ooh, you're going to become the second human specter? I assume there hasn't been one since me. From Cinder Blocked. Commander, my name is Jundum... Bow, I'm with Special Tactics and Recon. 
While some still have concerns about your past activities with servers, many of many of us in ST and R took your warnings about the Reapers seriously. I'm reaching out to you because I have information that could tie agents with significant political power to the Reapers. If you have time to meet me in the Citadel Embassy, I'd appreciate your discreet assistance. All right, we've got a lot to do in the Citadel. Meet me in Purgatory. I have a proposition for you, Shepard. You don't want to pass it up. I'm in a nightclub in the Citadel called Purgatory. Don't make me wait too long, Arya. This is the same message as this one, basically. I don't know why this was sent twice. We have, like, four people to talk to at the Citadel. Commander, are you all right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. Grissom Academy, that sounds familiar. Is that the place that was, like, turning humans into, like, stronger biotics or something that Caden was from? I remember Caden talking about that in the first game. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. Grissom Academy is where you sent David from Project Overlord. Oh, the guy who his brother like turned him into some kind of AI monster or whatever that really spooked me because it looked so ugh. Okay, okay. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Good catch. If this really is Cerberus, Hopefully, this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. Nice, nice, nice. All right, we got, we got a lot of stuff to do now. We got plenty to do. But first, we got to go talk... Oh, Primarch Victus is here. Well, we need to go talk to Primarch Vis uh, Victus in the war room, for sure. And then we need to talk to Garrus, and he's at the main battery. He's back where he was in the original game on the third deck. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go talk to Victus first, then we'll talk to Garrus. He's a good guy. He'll get his people moving in the right direction. He's a good guy with his homeworld on fire. All he committed to was his war service. A war service he had to hope to get to. Coming through. What's happening, brother? Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Garrus said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Yep. Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. He thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Nice, nice, nice. I, dude, I love that... I'm trying to remember what the other thing they did was. They did something else in the first stream that, like, referenced something back to, uh, some memes from the other games. But I love that they're making fun of Garrus always saying calibrations. I know that's a big meme, like, after Mass Effect 2 came out of people being like, Ah, oh, Garrus, always doing those calibrations. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Crymark, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Paladin... Then I give you my word. How are things on Paladin? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows. 
people as I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. That's, that's rough, buddy. Oh, that's right. They mentioned that the hammerhead was made of paper mache. Yep, yep, yep. I, I love it when games do stuff like that. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we've fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. I like Victus. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. I, dude, I like Victus. Victus is cool. He's a cool guy. I am a fan of Victus. All right. Uh, let's go talk to my boy, Garrus. Hello. What is the purpose in having that? I mean, I guess because that's a war room, and now I'm realizing that, like, all of the important people are, like, Victus and the other people for the thing are gonna stay on the Normandy, probably, and be in there all the time, so they need to get scanned going in. Or whatever. But, I don't know. Seems weird that that exists to me. Oh, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? We gotta, we gotta talk to Garrus.